Hello, my name is Gunil Park, and I'm from South Korea. I'm in second grade, and I love robotics and coding. My teammate and I are both nine years old, and our team is called Screamer. Hi, I'm Simi Lee, also from South Korea. Like Gunyo, I'm in second grade, and we've been working together as a team in various competitions. We participated in the Creative Coding Challenge Korea 2024 and the Rookie Challenge category and won first place. We also took part in the RoboCup South Korea Open 2025 and won the Best Research Award. We love problem solving and exploring new ideas in robotics. This competition is a great opportunity for us to learn and share our experiences. We are participating in the cost-based Automata's Driving First Steps category. In this competition, our task is to navigate a digital map while following a line, avoiding obstacles and reaching waypoints. Currently, we are working on task 3, which requires navigating a track with 3 waypoints and sharp turns. The main challenge is keeping our robot stable while maintaining speed. To solve this, we implemented a double sensor strategy. This method helps reduce zigzag movements, making our robot move more smoothly and efficiently. By optimizing our strategy, we improved the, the stability and accuracy of our robot. Our results showed smoother movement and better time performance. Now let's show you how our robot moves on the trap. 3, 2, 1, go! First waypoint reach, taking the second first shortcut, moving through the second shortcut. Second waypoint reached. Third waypoint. Finish! As you can see, a robot successfully follows the path and reaches all waypoints efficiently. One of our biggest challenges was reducing the robot's zigzag movement while keeping its speed high. We solved this by using the double sensor strategy, which allows the robot to cast the line more smoothly. Here's how it works. 1. If both the middle sensor M and left sensor L1 detect a black line, the robot moves forward. 2. If both the middle sensor M and right sensor R1 detect a black line, the robot moves forward. 3. If the left sensors L1, L2 detect a black line, the robot turns slightly. 4. If the right sensors R1, R2 detect a black line, the robot turns slightly left. 5. If the outer sensors L2, L3, or R2, R3 detect a black line, the robot turns sharply. 6. Time-based adjustments help us turn at specific points. Before optimization, our robot's speed was unstable and it often lost track of the line. After applying the double sensor strategy, the robot moved more smoothly, reducing zigzagging and improving speed. Key Improvement Lap time improved by 75%. Field trackings decreased from 7 to 3. Successful turns increased to 80%. By optimizing our line tracking strategy, we improved speed, stability, and accuracy, leading to better performance.
We also will use the ultrasonic sensor for our obstacle avoidance. If the ultrasonic sensor detects an object within a specific range, the robot makes a quick turn to avoid it. Our strategy improves the robot's movement, making it more stable and efficient. Now let's explain how to use the ultrasonic sensor step by step. Click the robot button, then select the car. Move the car using the forward, turning, and backward buttons. Check the ultrasonic sensor value. Set the minimum and maximum detection range. Define the action based on the sensor reading. Optional, add a duration if needed. Using the sensor helps our robot make smart decisions and navigate the course more effectively. AI tools helped us in many ways during this project. We used ChatGPT to refine our presentation script, Eraser to create diagrams, free logo design to make our team logo, Crea AI to generate images, Mix audio to create background music. AI helped us solve problems and improve our work quickly. It made our project more creative and efficient. We learned a lot during this competition and we want to share our experiences with other learners. Some important lessons we learn. Data analysis and line tracking are key to improving robot performance. Small adjustments and sensor values can make a big difference in stability. Problem solving is essential when facing unexpected challenges. By starting with the first steps category, we built a strong foundation in cost-based robotics. This has been an amazing experience for us. We enjoyed the challenges and learned so much along the way. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope you enjoyed the learning about our strategies and experiences.